few lures have caused many fish to fly has. So as bass guys, we're missing a major part of what we could and should be doing. So essentially what we're going to be doing today is taking the most basic bass fly, woolly boogers, and, well, some floats. Uh, this is an adjustable bubble. I'm going to simply just slide it right through there. Tie basic polymer knot onto our fly. The big thing here is to run floating line for this technique. Um, you don't want to be using fluorocarbon as your main line. The fluorocarbon sinks, which is used to bring your bobber or float down. Um, you know, the big thing with the adjuster bubble that we use is it allows you to actually adjust the buoyancy. And you know, with monofilament, you have a lot more control than you would otherwise. Uh, snip that close. You'll see this float, which kind of free floats here and there. What we can do with this style of float is actually pull it and twist it, and that'll help to lock it down. I'm using four pound line here, so it takes a lot of twists to lock it in place. You see that's there. If I want to, I can pop it, slide it up and down, and that's that. So another major factor with this uh, adjust a bubble is being able to drop it under the water by actually opening it up. Use a hold of one hand, drop it under the water. You'll see the bubbles pop up. Close it. And now that adjust bubble actually has weight. Usually you can still adjust it while it has water by holding it directly vertical. Twist it. Now you've got a weighted bobber. That's pretty much what you want. Um, if you want to add more weight, you can add a pinch weight or two, but that looks just about perfect for me. Not a monster, but a float and fly, catch your spot on anything. <laughs> 